I can't believe y'all ain't spoken 18 years. And the, the, real, the real tragedy of this, it was so much good music that came out of this thing. Like y'all yeah. got bona fide classics. Y'all was part of a movement, that crunk movement. Y'all were the kings of it. Right, it, right, right, right. I mean, do you ever just sit and say to yourself, like, yo, what a loss? Like, what and, and all this for money? It, it, you know, because that's that's the, it, what it feel like. This is it's I, I didn't want to split it three ways no more. That's what it was. That's that's exactly what it was, you know what I'm saying? Um, whether it was that or not on his part, but it, it was basically selfishness, you know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, that's what that's what it boiled down to the money. You know what I'm saying? But here, but if you ask him, he'll say, nah, the group broke up because I got bigger than them. No. I don't care. It's like it, to me, I, it don't matter who's bigger in the group. I don't care. Cause guess what? <laughs> We're doing the same show, getting the same paper. I don't care. It don't matter who's bigger or whatever. Cool. That's cool with me. Cause I like first of all, I like to go everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I don't need security when I go everywhere. He he's a, a need security type person. I be everywhere. I don't need no security. I'm I, hey man. I'm over here. I'm over there. You might see me at somebody's house party. And that was when we was heavy doing the music. I was like that. Even when we had security, I always used to lose my security. I always lose it. They, they would call, man, where you at? I'm, like, I'm in my room. I'm at, I'm knocking at your room though. No, nah, I ain't in that room. I changed my room and everything. I like that's my whole thing. If you're gonna be my security, you gotta be on point. And I just I just always lose my security. I ain't care. I'd be everywhere. Damn. So, I mean, looking back, if you had to give any young artists any advice, what what's the advice you give them? Because, like I said, this is this is one of them cautionary tales. Yeah. Well, this is what I everybody asks that question. You no, know, of course they ask that question, but I always tell them my best advice I can give you is if you got don't first of all don't listen to the hey i got us man i got us man trust me man i got us. don't listen to that um uh, if you got a parent that want to be involved let them be involved because i hate that i didn't let my dad get involved he he tried to get involved early on I, and i hate i didn't do that um also listen to it's it's little telltale signs just just listen you got to listen to stuff because I remember we used to have this one guy. He was with the Ghost Town DJs. They had the My Boo record. Mm -hmm. And every time we seen him, it wasn't in Atlanta either. We would see him in L.A., here or there, you know, where there's some kind of big thing. We would always see him. He would always say to John, man, John, let me get these side boys, man. You don't know what to do with him. He ain't doing nothing but messing no more. He'll say that in his face in front of us. And I'm like, why yeah, are you stupid? Because I'm like, well, you know how much money I got in this pocket? How much I got in this pocket? Man, you tripping. Go ahead on. But when the group broke up, you know, the first thing popped in my head. Hmm. You know, man, let me get the east side, boys, man. You ain't doing nothing messing them over. I was like, wow. That man said that every time we seen him. So listen for the signs. Look for the signs and get you a lawyer. If you don't trust that lawyer, you get a lawyer to get a lawyer for that lawyer, you know? Just make sure your paperwork it's A1. Make sure it's A1. Speaking, speaking of getting a lawyer, have in the last 20 years, have you have you gotten a lawyer so that you can at least get royalties off of yeah. that independent album, the, the It's Your Barn album, in, in all four of your albums on TVT? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got I got a lawyer on it right now. Got a lawyer on it right now. Got a lawyer here and he a big he, he a bulldog too. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, the lawyer I got. He used to be a uh, he used to be an artist as well, and he got messed over. So his whole thing is to defend the artists that never got they just do. You know what I mean? That that he 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 defends artists like me that was that was messed over like that. Like that's that's what he do, you know. And you know, I talked with him last time I talked to him. He said he said it was something that I already knew. He said, man. I've been in their books. Man, they books are piss poor. 
I said, I knew that. I could have told you that. I said, because they ain't got their stuff together. And then they would never thought I would get a lawyer, first of all. They never, they were like, he can't get no lawyer. Just so happened, I stumbled across the right lawyer. You know what I'm saying? That shout out to my cousin Al. You know what I mean? He the one facilitated this. And hey man, I went out to Vegas and meet with him and we've been on the run. We've been on the run. He don't ask me what the least I take, what's the most I want, everything. We've been on the run, man. And he think he can go back 20 plus years ago and get you your royalty yeah. going that far back. Oh yeah. oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I oh, hate yeah. to hear stories like this. I, God, God knows I do. I hate to hear stories like this. Um, but one but, thing about it now, yeah. I never gave up, bro. I never gave up. My daughter asked me one day, one of my daughters asked me one day, she said, Dad, why you, why you just don't, why you don't, you don't feel like you want to stop doing the music? And I tell her, no, because I feel like I never got my just due and I still got it in me. I said, as long as it's in me, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. I said, if you ever, if you stop doing your dream, it'll never come true. I said, so I'm going to keep going on my dream. I'm going to keep my dream going, keep it going and going. And guess what? I'm going to get my just due. I'm going to get what I'm, I'm going to get what I'm old. You just got to stick with it. A lot of people don't do that. A lot of people go, Man, whatever it is, what it is. No, I never did that. I never did that. I kept pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.